Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arby's Cafe and I have Sherry with me today. Hi Cynthia. Hi Sherry. We're pretty excited today and we love doing the Arby's Cafe because of the challenges that we have. Right. We yeah. like doing something <laughs> new and sharing with you everything new that we learn. Mm -hmm. And we were very excited with what we're going to show you today and it's all about brick stitch. And some PLA stitch. A little PLA obviously. stitch. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're coming up with some little design. And Cherie has some really great little design with animals. And I have things that are more geometric uh, pattern. But they're so much fun to work with. And those are very trendy. Very trendy, yes. Um, the girls that we work with are just loving these. Yes. And um, they really, um, I think, brought these centered to us and said, you know, these are really popular and they look like so much fun. Yes. Um, so uh, let's try it. And yes. Thought, oh, and, okay. and I have to say that even yeah. people around us got very excited when we were starting to make this. And you know, Becky, she's on Facebook yeah. Live with me every Thursday. She started to do she this too. She loves them. <laughs> yeah. They're so and I sweet. Think, yeah. And she cannot stop, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, so, um, yeah, so much fun. And mm -hmm. they don't take very many beads, th yes. th these little ones. Um, so they go pretty quick, yes. much quicker than a you know large bracelet band or exactly. um, even a ring. <laughs> Some of these are pretty small. <laughs> That's true. Um, so, um, you know, an hour or two mm -hmm. and you have Which a is wonderful fast. little... It, <laughs> It is for brick stitch and, and bead stitching. So, um, yeah, so we were challenged to create our own designs. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're going to show you a little bit about how we went about doing that. Yes. And I have to mention first, we use for this project the Toho Treasures. And those are beautiful beads. Look at the beautiful colors, colors that yeah. we have. Uh, we have more than 200 colors on the site. And what we love about them is the shape of them. Right. right. They have this little square shape that means that the beads fit perfectly. Right. So they have that, that cylinder shape, mm -hmm. right? And um, so they nest into each other really nicely and make such a yes. nice smooth finish. And you can get a lot of detail in a pattern with, um, with these beads. Yes. We were so. all amazed about that color, right? Yeah. Look Isn't at that, that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Yeah. I keep looking at this and what can I do with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shari, show know. us what you did. Okay. So I started by um, just drawing little critters. I had um, a lot of fun just mm -hmm. thinking of little animals. I wasn't worried about getting them perfect. You can see they're just really rough and right. um, silly and um, was just thinking, you know, how do I make these into beads? Mm -hmm. How do I turn this into beads? And I ended up really liking this little elephant down here. He's adorable. And so um, what I did, I wasn't sure exactly, you know, he's larger than um, what I wanted to make, but um, we end up using graph paper. I, I ended up using graph paper right. to design these. Mm -hmm. And I thought that the graph paper is probably larger in scale than mm -hmm. the beads themselves. So I figured he's probably about the right size. I really okay. didn't know. Right. <laughs> you know. And so um, this is the paper that we have. And this has um, the cylinder-shaped bead in mm -hmm. the brick stitch. And so what I did was I, um, I colored his eye. I actually drew him a few times, but I colored his eye really dark, and then I laid the graph paper over the top in front of a window so I could see through it, and then I just sort of outlined the shape of the elephant mm -hmm. on the, the beads. And then from there, you have to kind of pick and choose you right. know, where the beads are going to um, go. And um, it took a few tries to get the elephant shaped the way I wanted. You know, I wanted him, you know, in a nice curve like this, but the beads don't let you do that. <laughs> um, they ha go in and out mm -hmm. because they're in a brick pattern. And so you just kind of pick and choose. And knowing that when you're done, this is all going to shrink down. Right. So all this um, jogging back and forth is going to um, get refined mm -hmm. and not be as obvious. And so I just kind of played with that for a while until I got an outline that I liked and then um, started picking where I wanted the colors to go. And um, I just used colored pencils and colored in um, for the various bead colors that I thought I might use. You don't have to have, you know, exactly the, the same colors, mm -hmm. um, but just something to represent right. um, what you're working with. 
And then um, from there, I looked at um, the layout of the beads and, and um, wanted to decide, you know, what is going to be the best way to go about stitching? Where do I start? Mm -hmm. and where do I start with a little elephant like this? And um, you could easily start down at the bottom. Your first row in brick stitch is ladder stitch. And so you could do three little ladder stitch beads and then come and build this way. Um, but I, I thought it would be nicer to start with a longer ladder. Okay. Right, <laughs> yeah. Just a little more to hold on to. Mm -hmm. And so I started up here and um, worked my way across. I have two little beads here, but I didn't add them at that time. I just continued building this way around mm -hmm. um, the elephant. And then I, uh, my tail, of course, is here. So later I went back. You need to weave your tail in later anyway. So that's when I went in and added these two little beads. Um, and so as you're you know, going up to this point, this is all basically increasing um, ladder stitch. And then here you've got a decrease. And, and then uh, here you've got a decrease. And so you're kind of switching back and forth Bye. from decreasing, increasing, depending on the shape of your creature. Um, but in a couple places, you may not have, um, for example, get down into the trunk and you want to decrease because let's say you're coming from this end, but you don't have a thread to hook it under mm -hmm. like, because you don't have enough beads there. Okay. So you just simply flip it over and go the other direction right. and do a, did I say a decrease or increase, whichever it was, right. do the opposite. Uh -huh. And so that works out really well. And then, um, Let's say you get down to the, the trunk is done, but now you need to um, do the legs. So you just weave your thread through and get mm -hmm. down to the point where you can build the legs or finish building this way. Um, so I'll really, um, you know, if, if you just look at it and watch the beads and just say, but, what do I want the bead to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you find a way to make that happen. Yeah. So free form. It yeah. is. And this is why I really like this uh, technique is that there is no rules. I mean, you need to know how to do a ladder stitch and a brick stitch, but then it's all about weaving right. in between your beads if you want to end up somewhere, and then do I increase or do I add a bead or do I take a bead out? It's, it really gives you a flexibility mm -hmm. to create whatever you want. And we've seen some amazing design right, there. You can right. create any anything. I saw people making little people, making, I mean, it's so much yeah. fun to work with that. And we have those um, beautiful paper, graph paper, our designer download. Right. So you can easily download these and then you can color yourself or your design. I mean, it's, it's better to start this way. <laughs> I find it is less complicated than just to start, right. uh, you know, doing just the bead. Right. And don't feel that you like you have to um, draw all of these in order to make them. All the patterns for these four little um, projects will be in our design studio with full instruction and PDF patterns that show the um, mm -hmm. thread paths and yes. how to do them. I love your little bird. It's so oh, cute. He sweet? Yeah, he's little. Oh, these are so little. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, here's a little bird that I did and just uh, four little colors of beads <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, he you know goes pretty fast and yeah. then we've got here's the elephant up close oh he's so, so cute see he's really yeah. cute yeah I love him and then your and goldfish is beautiful too love those fish. colors yeah, she's that, very bright and lively. And that's what we love in the Toho treasures too the colors it's so beautiful so vibrant mm -hmm. they're very yeah. vibrant and then um, this is a little feather that I did and then just tucked little um, fine little jump rings mm -hmm. into the ends of the beads and put them on a chain so it makes a really sweet little uh, bracelet. That's and you beautiful. could do that with any of these. You could turn them into necklaces, yes. um, brooches, uh, however you want to wear them. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Those are so pretty. And, and me, um, I wanted to show you what I did. But um, I don't know how to draw. <laughs> you say that, but you do. You do. I cannot make an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, I thought, okay, I'm just going to make things geometric. It's easier for me if I can do a square or rectangle. <laughs> it's so much easier. So I came up with those designs like that, like a little diamond. And the way how I did it is 
I started to just draw the beads how I wanted, how big I wanted, and then I fill up the inside. And uh, it's the same for the, the little square. So and beautiful. then, thank you. And you see here, I can uh, I use a jump ring also, and I made them uh, necklaces. On this one, though, I added two little loop here. Oh, nice. On the top. Okay. And that was really easy too. Again, like we said before, just weave mm -hmm. in your bead to get to the point where you want to be. And then you just make a circle make out a of little it. loop? Yes, yeah. exactly. Nice. Then you can use a little heavier jump ring, right? If you yes. have a slightly heavier chain. Yes, yeah. because yeah. that's the thing. When you use a jump ring for those pieces like that, your jump ring has to be pretty thin. Right. Um, also, I recommend to work with a very thin needle. Yes because you're going to have to go through that bead several times. And um, I find that the tulip needles mm -hmm. uh, were my favorite. And I use the number 13, 13. a lot okay. because it was really thin. Good, good. And um, really enjoy working with yeah. those needles. I think I started with an 11, okay. but I ended up switching to you a did. finer needle as I got a little further. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can do things like that too. Why not adding something at the end? Um, here again, I did a little loop and then I, I made a, a tassel. I thought that was really fun. And on this one, um, so this one is not a brick stitch, it's actually a POD, but I thought it was really cute and making as mm -hmm. a, a bracelet. Right. So again, all those designs are very small design, very satisfying because they go fast. <laughs> well, and, and that's something to point out. Um, we've done these in brick stitch. But if you turn the paper this way, <laughs> right. this is laid out like peyote stitch. Mm -hmm. So if that's the stitch you know, then you can yes. um, you can work your pattern that way as well. And we have a, a separate um, uh, designer download for both the peyote stitch and the brick stitch. Right. That's true. Um, yeah. But you can do it either way. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So I wanted to show you here how um, easy it is. Like I made this uh, really cute um, diamond. And I find that working from the middle is much easier. Like you said, building a longer ladder stitch, then you can build on it right. and you have okay. more um, to, to hold. So I, I started here and I build my ladder stitch. And then when I get to the other side, um, I started the second row and then I just turn my work. So I'm constantly, when I, I'm at the end of one side, I'm turning it and I go this way. So I'm constantly turning my work. That's what I do for the most part too. And yeah. I find it is much easier yeah. um, for the, the brick stitch. So that's really fun. And then on a design like that, I love this I do cute too. little design. It's really, uh, really cute. My daughter already looked at this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's good on her. <laughs> it yeah, looks really good so on her. Cute. And this one again, I thought, okay, I want to start in the middle because I have a long ladder stitch. So this is what I did. I did in the middle and then I built this way. So I went this way and here, what's well, so I keep going and then I need to go to that point where you just weave, mm -hmm. weave right. with your beads and then you build this. And then I went back and I turned my work again and then I built this, um, this section and then this section. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's, it's really fun to work with it because you don't have to do you know, it's not one thing at a time. It's not like the a POD stitch is kind of one block that you have to do. Right. Um, this, you can really build on it. And I could have stopped here if I wanted. I mean, you could, you know, right. do whatever. Easily, I couldn't yeah. build even more, right. you know, do another square here. Yeah, so. you can add on, right? <laughs> you can add on to these um, kind of wherever mm -hmm. you want to. You just need to move the thread. Yes. You say, I want a bead here. <laughs> and then get your, th your thread there. And then you know. build. Yes. And th there is so much you can do with those little things. Like we were saying at the beginning, uh, before the video, we were thinking you can make pins out of them. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Um, like we, you did a bracelet, I did necklaces. Uh, someone was saying you can do with um, embroidery, you can put on a piece of fabric also. Mm -hmm. There is so much you can do yeah. with those little. I even that. see little frame around them. It was oh, so cute. That would be cute. That would be really cute. Addictive. Yeah. <laughs> it is addictive. I'm, I really want to do more because, you know, it's fast. Yeah. <laughs> An hour is fast <laughs> in bead weaving. It is. <laughs> well, thank you, Sherry, yeah, well, thank you. for coming thank and showing you. those. So much fun. I love, love those yeah. little um, creatures. 
I have to try it too. Yeah. I will try. Maybe you draw for me. I will. I'd be happy okay. to. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. Please make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter to see more promotion and some great ideas. So thank you again, Sherry. Thank you. Um, merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye.